Hi everyone. So I don't normally talk in my videos, but I had this insane idea the other day and it worked so well um, that I'm going to try to recreate it and also talk through um, what I did. Basically what I did is I have, I don't know about you, but I have a bunch of makeup that just kind of lies around um, in my vanity. So some stuff like the pigments are just like too intense and they don't really look right. Um, by themselves or just stuff that I haven't touched in a while or something that you know because the top is obscured I won't see the color and probably like never open it to use it so anyways I have just have a bunch of makeup like that odds and ends and I thought um you know what would happen if I mix them all together um you know when you mix a bunch of colors together it usually ends up in a brown color and brown looks pretty good on me anyway so I thought what the hell I'm just gonna try to mix it all up so that's what I did I wanted to give you an idea of just some stuff that I mixed together just to show you that there was like really no rhyme or reason I just picked up anything and everything so we have some bare minerals we got some uh, mac glitter this is formula this is a bronzer palette I got from the drugstore um, this is just a magnetic palette that I added um, this was an Urban Decay Naked palette part of. Um, so really just anything and everything kind of went into this. And really, like, I had no expectations of grandeur. I just wanted to see kind of what would happen. What happened is I got this most amazing color of eye makeup. Um, it's so gorgeous. Like, I am shocked about it almost. Um, but look how pretty this is. And it's that sparkly, it's like iridescent. Um, oh my gosh, just the, the prettiest brown shade that I think I've ever had. I, I absolutely love it. I'm gonna try to recreate it, but instead of trying to go for a brown color, I'm gonna try to stick to more like bluish, pinky, purple tones and just see what that kind of looks like all mixed together. So this is a great idea if you have like old makeup lying around or just stuff that you haven't used in a while or something that you know you never will use, just mix together, see what happens. This could be really fun. Also just to point out last time, so when I mixed everything, I put it all in this coffee grinder um, and just ground it up a little bit and um, it worked great. But I think this time um, I'm going to use some products that are more liquid like this. So I think I'm just going to mix it up in a bowl. And so we'll see what happens. Before I forget, you're going to want to put a towel down before you start this because it is messy. So the best part about this is that I didn't have to leave my house for anything. And I got this like amazing, basically brand new color of makeup. It's going to last me a long time. And it's a shade that I would use normally that I really like. Um, I just really can't say enough about how impressed I am with this. So I'm going to grab my other trusty jar. So I just, these are jars I had hanging around that had whatever they had in them. Um, I washed it out. So it's a clean jar. So we got our jar um, and now I'm going to grab the makeup. So this is the stuff that I have lying around. This is my bowl for mixing it in. And now we're just going to go through the process of dumping this stuff into that bowl. So as you can see, I'm not very discerning about what I'm putting into here. You certainly can be when you're trying this at home, but really I would stick to palettes or colors that you like know you're not going to use. That way, if it turns out horrendous, which I don't think it will, but if it does, um, you know, you won't come at me and you won't have just lost um, a lot of makeup just because you're trying this experiment. But again, like I said, um, these, this is all colors and palettes that I've had kind of hanging around for a while probably at the, the last leg of their their life anyway um I just I don't know about you but I have a hard time throwing stuff like this out um so you know why not no real loss so this is the palette of pretty much brown but I'm just gonna throw in some shades that look kind of pinkish or light that one looks good and to keep this going so here we go that's broken anyway so there you go and blues, purples, and since this palette is pretty much broken and destroyed, I'm just going to put everything in there. So one of the things that I get really excited about is that uh, all of these pretty fun like glitters that you have that are like iridescent and 
you know, reflect their own color of light, like reflect pinks or different blues and stuff um, on your palette. I love mixing all that together and I love wearing glitter makeup. So um, this is a really fun process. It's very therapeutic. Um, so I hope you guys get to try it. So as you can see, I've got just about every color imaginable in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a fork. I'm going to try to mash it up all together and mix it up nice. Um, like I said before, I used um, this coffee grinder my first time around. But that was only because I had mainly um, powdered products that were in there. But now since I added some more um, liquidy things, I'm going to use just a fork and a bowl just to make sure it mixes together well and doesn't like clunk up the... Um, the, the grinder blades up in here. Okay, so actually I lied. I am going to go ahead and just use this coffee grinder. Um, some of these chunks are just not breaking up for whatever reason. Um, but it looks like all the liquids kind of evaporated or been sucked into these dry clumps anyway. So should be fine. <laughs> Okay, so here's our final result. So we've got this beautiful like slate gray color. Look at all of these different colored uh, glitters that are in here. A couple of chunks made their way in, but you know, who cares about that? Just switch them. Um, but just to show you what the end result is gonna look like, I'm just gonna take my finger here and there's my hand. And this is the color that we ended up with. Is that not gorgeous? I, I just can't get over how well this works. So not only do you end up with like a really pretty good size amount of makeup that you'll um, actually use, I guess I would use, um, it's a gorgeous color. You can also put these into smaller little individual pots or reuse some of your old makeup containers and just, you know, portion it out, give it out to friends, whatever you think. I just want to reiterate, again, I did this twice. Um, the first time I had no distinction. I just mixed every color that I could kind of get my hands on immediately. Came up with this beautiful brown color. Um, God, it's just, it's so shimmery and pretty. I just can't get over how it looks. Like gold iridescent. And then this time... Um, I tried to focus a little bit more on like actual bright colors, um, blues and greens and pinks, purples, um, got this nice slate color. Um, again, it's just, it's so pretty with all of these different colored glitters in it. And I don't know about you, but I'm much more likely to wear a color that looks like this um, than I would, you know, a bright pink like this. So it gives me something I can wear day to day. Um, it gives me a lot of it and also it's really fun so tag me if you do this i can't wait to see what your guys come up with um it's a, a beautiful fun process so let me know how it goes for you